Good afternoon, everyone. You know, this is a, uh, I want to welcome everyone to our J.R. Tucker High School. And even though this uh, beautiful building opened its doors more than a year ago, uh, I still feel the excitement in anticipation of uh, that grand opening. We had homecoming this past Friday. Outcome wasn't as we expected, but it was a, a great event. I want to thank the uh, school board, Dr. Cashwell, and her team for continuing to do amazing things for our community and our kids here across our Henrico County Public Schools. I want to thank our board of supervisors and all of the county agencies for continuing to work as closely as we possibly can with our school system. You know, we're gathered today to celebrate and recognize difference makers, people who strive to go above and beyond and leave a positive impact on their community. This Welcome Center embodies that spirit, the idea of lifting others and making them feel connected to their community. Last year, I was surprised and extremely humbled, to say the least, to be recognized as the first recipient of the Community Impact Award. It was particularly meaningful to be honored with my parents and my family present because they're the ones who instilled in me the importance of making a difference and leaving things better than you found them. And as we know, a great community needs many, many difference makers. And this is where Henrico County is truly blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I want to hand the podium over to our rock star superintendent, Dr. Amy Cashwell. Thank you, Mr. Manager, and good evening. I am honored to be here as we continue to recognize and celebrate those who make our community a better place to learn, work, and to live. It is especially fitting that Mr. Vitolkas kicked off this celebration as we prepare to bestow the second annual John Vitolkas Community Impact Award this evening. The award was created in 2021 and presented during the dedication of the incredible Welcome Center that's housed here at Tucker High School. And as the first honorary recipient and award namesake, the county manager set a high standard for future honorees. As you know, Mr. Vitokas embodies the motto, service before self. From his humble beginnings as a Greek immigrant to serving as the manager of one of Virginia's most diverse and thriving counties, he understands the value of hard work and the life-changing impact of supporting others on their journey. Each year, we will recognize a deserving recipient who exemplifies those values and a commitment to leaving our community better than they found it. Fortunately, here in Henrico, there is no shortage of potential honorees. Community service through efforts, uh, big and small, can be seen in every school and neighborhood across our fantastic county. To share a few thoughts on that collective commitment to serving others, please welcome Patricia O'Bannon, Chair of the Henrico Board of Supervisors, to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Cashwell. And on behalf of my fellow members of the Henrico Board, it's my pleasure to be with you today in this special celebration of community service. Dr. Cashwell, I agree with you that our county manager has set the bar high when it comes to serving our community. He exemplifies this servant leadership, and it's fitting that this award be in, named in his honor. Community service can take many forms, but I think there are a few characteristics that community servants hold in common. They are big hearted, selfless, and who give generously of their own time and talents without a thought for their own recognition. They're outward focused individuals who have awareness to see beyond themselves and recognize a gap or a need in their community. They are bold individuals who have the courage to step into the gap when it's a time of need. They're creative individuals who find new ways to approach old problems. They are tireless individuals 
who seem to draw from a bottomless, bottomless reservoir of energy and resources. They're relentless and they won't stop until they can get an answer or get it fixed when it comes to serving their neighbors. They're trend setting and their actions challenge the rest of us to examine ourselves more closely and follow their lead and then take action ourselves. Henrico County is blessed with many such individuals. We've seen them rise to the moment time and again in our schools, our workplaces, our hospitals, our places of worship, our gyms and our recreation centers and little league fields. They're what makes this county a true community. Now to tell you about one such individual, I'll ask my counterpart on the school board, Marcy Shea, their chair, to come up to the podium. Marcy. Thank you so much, Ms. O'Bannon, for your remarks and for your service to our community. Good evening, everyone. I am Marcy Shea, chair of the Henrico County School Board. I'm joined by my colleagues this evening, Ms. Christy Kinsella, vice chair of, um, and from the Brooklyn District, and Reverend Roscoe Cooper from the Fairfield District. It is a pleasure to be here on behalf of the school board and Henrico Schools to present the second annual HCPS John Vitolkis Community Impact Award. As Dr. Cashwell mentioned earlier, this award honors individuals who embody a spirit of service and whose work to support others profoundly impacts our community. This year's honoree is committed to making Henrico County a better place and a true home for Spanish speaking families in our community. He works tirelessly to ensure they are aware of and have access to school, housing, and food resources. Equally as important, he makes them feel welcome, heard, and valued as part of the Henrico County community. The driving force behind Central Virginia's Spanish language radio station, Radio Poder, our recipient is literally a source of information and a voice of hope for so many. He knows that knowledge is power. And I don't think it's a coincidence that El Poder means power in Spanish. Now, many of you know the extraordinary man I'm describing, so please help me recognize and thank him for his service. Oscar, will you please come join me at the podium? <laughs> On behalf of the school board and our entire community, it's my extreme pleasure to present Oscar Contreras with the 2022 HCBS John Vitolkis Community Impact Award. Congratu congratulations. Thank you so much for your Thank service. You. We're going to give Oscar the opportunity to speak if he would like to in just a moment. We'll give you a few a few minutes. Uh, but first, I'd like to welcome Raina Van, Oscar's or, or Himrico's uh, multicultural community liaison to share a few words about Oscar's incredible impact. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Shea. And I want to give a warm welcome to our board chair, Mrs. O'Bannon, our county manager, as well as Dr. Cashwell and our school board and school board chair. We also have our county uh, officials with us as well and the family of uh, the Contreras family. So I want to welcome everyone. So his wife, Rachel, uh, daughter, Elena, uh, David over here, I'm going in almost in order, and then Jonathan and Ava. And so you all are a significant part of the legacy of your father, the work that he does. You all, every time I go out into the community, I see you as well. And so service, as we were having the conversation, is very instrumental to Henrico, and our county manager leads that 
leads it with passion and leads it with heart as we talk about what it means to be directly involved with our communities and go so deeply as to make phone calls directly to care about the individuals who have passed on and it's impacting the community directly and needing service, um, making connections that go deep and wide. And so in addition to the language uh, component, and as you will likely hear, he does a beautiful job of translating or interpreting in real time. It means that there's access to the information by opening the doors. We've had hundreds of conversations weekly, and this is your mission. And so we are grateful for the community work that you do and your dedication. And we're very proud um, to have you as a Henrico resident, and we appreciate all that you do for the community. Congratulations, Oscar. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it is, it is a, um, a privilege that it is under your name uh, that, and being the second, it, it's really, really a privilege. I had a chance to speak to you and uh, uh, know your, your story, your family story. And um, it, it feels good to be able to uh, uh, contribute to the community that we are part of, uh, of course. Um, I think I'm emotional just because wh what I do is just, that's, that's just what you do. I mean, I don't, I don't see any other way of being. So it is just uh, funny that, you know, it is, uh, that this is recognized. But I, I also see the need to be, to, for these things to be recognized so we can motivate other people to continue to do the same thing. Um, we just started to recognize people from around Virginia in Radio Poder. We call them personas de poder, people of power and will. And so we started last year recognizing people all over Virginia because of that, because they need to be recognized and they need to be, um, the people behind them, needs, they need to know that these people are being recognized also. So I thank you because this is for my children to, so they can see, you know, that just um, being, living for, not for yourself, but for other people is uh, very important. Uh, I don't know why, but I want you to be next to me because <laughs> I feel like I'm. <laughs> Great job. Um, I don't know, just, just the conversations that, uh, about his story and his children and his uh, parents and stuff like that. Um, I, I, I'm so thankful that we have this connection because of this award. And um, I'll let you continue my speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so to the Contreras children, you know what you are seeing here is 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 remarkable. I mean, what your what your father, what your parents have done, is truly exceptional. But it it is also such a strong building block for you. So you take what he has done for this community and build upon it, and do more, and do more, because I think. Uh, only from that we all get better, but uh, you are truly a very special individual. And I want to thank you for all the conversations along the way, okay? And uh, thank you. <laughs> you gave me a chance to breathe. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, <laughs> and, uh, and, and um, as, a, as a Christian man, as a Christian radio station, all the glory is for him. Everything we do here is gonna stay here. Everything we do here, is gonna go away, but I think the relationships that we built, and if we do it for him in his name, it has an eternal impact. And that's what I believe, and that's how I live. And uh, to him be the glory, and thank you so much for uh, this opportunity.
And I'm sorry I didn't dress up better. I just said, why do I need to dress up? This is just a meeting, uh, just a community meeting. But there you go now. Photoshop the photos. Yeah. <laughs>